Well, welcome back to Old Ridge, and I'm carrying on where we left off last time. Yeah, just for a change. And we're going to try and finish this field off today as we carry on with a little bit of the story. Well, I had 11th of the time a little while ago, and he asked, he finally got around to ask him for some time off. He said he don't know how long he's going to want. But uh, if he thinks he can make things better, and that's all he would say. Uh, I'm actually worried about him, because uh, I'd love to know what he's up to. But uh, he's going to finish off doing uh, Field 12, and I said he can take as long as he wants. I've still got 19 to do, I know, and I will, and I will be doing that one. I'm not going to ask Chris to do it, because it is... Rather a lot to do, and I'm sure we don't with this play. It'd be a bit quicker. I can't afford to buy another mold board of a larger size, or this will be the board we will do it with. Let's see if, yeah, that means it's okay. Oh, and for those who really care, I, I'm keyboarding at this time. I couldn't be bothered to get the wheel sorted out for it. And as I'm mainly going to be doing this, which is which is probably easier if I keyboard because I'm just I'm close to the keyboard. I still haven't got round to putting in the, uh, the shortcut or a button in for the uh, GPS on the wheel. I will do it one day. Oh, we're getting through this one now. It's only this four, and I think 19 to do. <laughs> we're done. Yeah, some of you a bit brighter might be wondering how I'm going to get on with the um, harvest of the last couple of crops. That's, that's no real problem. Neither of them could have take that long. Well, like the one on 19th South might take a little bit of time, but the the beet, the potatoes aren't going to take long. I can soon uh, whip through those. He said, hopefully. I could call on Chris just to uh, either drive the harvester or the uh, track to take away, but I think again I can probably manage right. Let's see where are we are. Oh, that's a bit close. I thought I was gonna. No, oh, I better just go ahead. We miss some here. Don't like missing bits quite this big here. How I come to miss that, I don't know. That's better. Oh, well, for those who are wondering, who might just stumble on this is Old Ridge Farm. It's a long running soap opera. A hundred and seventy odd episodes now, I think. It, no good actually asked me, I mean, I. As you were already aware, I never keep count of how many episodes I'm doing on something. But I do like to make my series long where possible. I don't do ten episodes and pass on the next map, which means I don't you don't get to see too many maps on this channel, but you do see a lot of one map, you do see it worked all the way through, except for forestry. Oh, and bunker work. <coughs> And I will see bunker work on this one, but not on the 17 maps. I dislike this modern bunker. But that's my uh, problem. Oh, this looks a lot better. I think I might just spray some slurry up on the 19 before we actually do that one. Just to just to get a little bit of extra oomph into the soil. It's got beet going on there next. I bet that surprised everybody that I knew what was going on there next. Oh yes, no, what are those little bits of info? Right, the, we've heard well, mother-in-law's been keeping an eye on that new museum in America, Farm Museum, which is 
based on this farm actually. I don't want that. Just press the wrong button. It's actually based on this farm. It's based on Old Ridge. And they have got some fairly good equipment there, but I think one thing I know that Chad's got in the back of his workshop, which he's had there for donkey's years, which I might just, uh, out of my personal funds, I might just uh, buy and send over to him. He's got a very early JCB telehandler there. It works well. It's been... <laughs> It's actually a funny tale to it. Uh, when JCBs first started making stuff for farms, you know, originally they were building, building work, you know, growing work, contractor work. Uh, they had uh, things like telehandles and what have you, and they converted one for uh, agricultural use. And that's one of these that Chad has got. It's I don't think it's ever been used. It's it's like new. Now I think I can talk Chad into letting it go into the museum. Hopefully he'll, he'll hand it over and uh, I'll pay the uh, shipping out to America. That's not going to be cheap, mind you. But I do fancy the idea of something not so much from this farm, although I would like to get some stuff of this farm on there, but I don't think it's going to be possible. We have, well, we don't hold on to old equipment. Grandfather started that tradition. As <laughs> soon as something was finished with, it was removed from the farm at once. No messing. Father carried on, and I'll be helping the same. Which, at times like this, you, you regret it. And what a horrible day it is, too. Let's have a look outside. Oh, look at that. Oh, dear. Yeah, so we might just see if we can get hold of early telly hands and send over there. I will expect, you know, a thankful gift from uh, Oldridge in England. You know, plastered on there somewhere. And because we have this, uh, I think you heard, we have this system where all the farmers uh, get together and talk via the internet. Well, I don't know. So I, I leave that to mother-in-law and Paul to do. Paul did most of the farm talk. And and we've been getting stories on how things are going in the rest of the world. Apparently there's one out in Norfolk who... He's doing quite well, but he, but the poor old boy's on his own now. His daughter's found love and uh, has left him to it. Well, he seems to be happy enough. Another chap is one of them is out in the Ukraine farming. What the hell he's doing in the Ukraine? I never know. Although he has got some equipment. Paul was showing me pictures on the PC up there. Yeah. Equipment he's got, there's some lovely class stuff there. I still wouldn't want me a JCB tractor, mind you, or, or telehandler, but apart from that, he's cut some lovely stuff. Got a lot bigger and better combine than we've got. Mind you, most people have. We had that one so long now. <clears throat> but also, although I don't keep old stuff. I also don't believe in replacing stuff until it's actually completely broke down. Uh, like the uh, old uh, perm I had to go, the case, uh, that was way past its time. And we wanted something a little bit bigger so it was, that worked well. We've got the other steer in its place, let's just see if we've got that bit now. Yeah, it looks better. Try not hard not to hit the uh, the hedge. Uh, should do. Look 
now and again. Yes, yeah, so I think we're, we're getting on well with this one. Uh, we will have a quick flash for it, if it's Goose Expression, we'll have a quick flash to see how the other's doing. And this should be the save game coming in. I really must do some work on this map, coming out of character. Trying to just optimise it a bit better again. Right, let's see how the world's been treating everybody. We get to the end of this one, I'll just have a quick check around the others and we'll come back and finish this off. We should get this done this episode. If not, I'll finish it off off screen. Well, I'm interested to see how far um, Tom's got. Uh, we've got also we've still got our good mate Chris. He's uh, he's thrashing down the wheel, uh, weeds, the wheels, the weeds in the field eleven again. I might just leave the steer with him for a while in that springtime uh, cultivator. I think he's going to have his work cut out this winter. Every time he sees weeds, I want them. We could do some cut down before they get in and take all the nutrients from the soil. Oh, I was going to look flash round when I well, get to the other end now. You yeah, know me and my memory. A memory would be nice if, um, um, now what was they talking about? I clean forgot. I think it was almost time we paid another visit to Justin's farm. Have a look, see how he's doing over at Watts' farm. Uh, I think we might just pay him a visit once we, we get to the autumn and just, uh, oh, we are in the autumn now, the late autumn when most of our work is done. Because I shall be doing all only spring crops this year, it's going to be similar. We're a bit, we're really left it a bit late to get these fields ready and seeded for autumn. Well, it's going to be a lot of work. Just get us lined up, then we will go and have a look. Right, do I will do that? No, let's have a look round. Oh, get rid of, get rid of that. Oh, Chris is almost done here. They're yeah, never going to get those ends done. We, we should ignore those. In fact, I. I will do those later off screen. The one that probably was course play before the latest version, it was bad at the uh, turns. And there's Tom here, he's, he's getting through this well. Should get this one done. I can't remember if we've got the other half of this one to do. I'll just have a, a run and have a look. So far he's got, let's see what the... Oh, we are going to... Sp I think we've got plenty of slurry off, spray some slurry on here just to uh, bring the nitrogen levels up a bit. Oh, he's done the other half, that's all right, is it? Yeah, it's done. Yes, yeah, so we can do some nitrogen and some uh, water on there. I think we're going to be sp spraying water about everywhere. If the harvest isn't ready, right, let's get back to mine. Now. There we are. <clears throat> so we're seeing them both going well. They're going to be finished fairly soon. Chris can, let's say, take that outfit round to his office. <laughs> oh, if one of the uh, owners come in, I don't know how he's going to explain it, but be quicker than him coming down to the uh, farm every time. And if we want any any front load of work done, I just have to 
the ride up there on the bike and uh, pick it up and and cut and uh, use the t uh, front load and take it back again to him. We've got not got anything to service this year. I'm glad to say. Does that cost an arm and a leg now, especially with everything except for the the large steer. It's out of service contract, that's the only thing. I think that may have to go in this winter just to be uh, checked over. We might as well go up and down as we hit these now. Yeah, why not? Now that was a rhetorical question you didn't have to answer. I think we're in a good place on this farm now. We've not got a huge amount of cash in hand, but we have got a lot of equipment and quite a few fields. So look, I'm always open to buying more fields. My my dream is to get it as it was, or as it should be, every field owned in this area. Right, I'm going to need more on myself and Tom to work. And I can't just expect kind heart people like Chris to come in and give us a hand when we need it. We will have to take more staff on. Yes, that's worth a thought. And Chris says, well, oh yes, I'm sure I forget the main burning topic of the R around here is vandalism still going on. Another panel was destroyed a short while ago. It be interesting to know who's behind it. The uh, police are actually put up a patrol up there, but as I think I mentioned, it's, it's not impossible to stop people getting up there. And you can't con patrol the whole area, it's a large area, not with the resources the police have got at the moment. Well, we just, uh, we just live in hopes that Southern will turn up to uh, sort it out. No, no, it has been said that maybe something to do with Tom. I know that the Crawford Browns are push, uh, pointing the finger at Tom at the moment. But that's uh, that near enough proves it can't be him if they uh, say it's him in my book. No, oh, I wish I had thought I didn't need the straw before I'd actually start harvesting this field. But there we, we learn these things. It's just... No, I'm going to... I'm feeling quite chipper at the moment. I haven't actually hit anything. Do you realise that? Not a thing so far. I don't even think I drew for a hedge. That won't last. There's a so kite. Now we've got to decide what we're planting for next year. I'm actually leaving the plan on that to Paul. He's got the contacts in the trade. What? Who wants what? Because we must remember the potatoes. There's a load, I think, that go into the pub. And the rest of it's going on the train. Beat has all gone on the train. And we should get a... And I think the beat, what I've seen, have looked very good indeed. I think we could get a good bonus on those. And if the potatoes uh, do well and we can afford the proper equipment for ourselves to buy for ourselves, then we may well turn one of these other fields into a potato field for next year. I think we've got organic uh, 
rape to go in the field which have got the spuds in at the moment, five and six. I think that's what Paul said. And I think we're back on wheat, organic wheat on the, the sevens. I don't think that's going to, uh, GPS is going to take for a moment. Oh, look, we're almost done now. We'll get this one done and we'll call it. I know what I'm just going to do. Uh, bring this up, I want to just make that disappear. It should be fun trying to do it. Next time round, I shall take a, another screenshot of me plowing. They said like the screenshots of me plowing. You know, I always knew it if I, if I look closely, I'm never smiling when I'm doing it. People believe I can't smile. I can, but uh, that had to be something really funny. Like Crawford Brown uh, tripping over a banana, or slipping on a banana skin, something similar to that. Kind of really funny. No, I remember, I can't all see the. Uh, Lines this time because they're not there. I think we're in. Alright, let's get rid of some of this stuff. We'll just do the. Uh, the screenshot now. Another horrible day on Old Ridge. But I'm not too worried now. Harvest is just about in. What we've got left, it, the rain won't matter a bit. It won't hold up for either potatoes or beet. So it can rain all it like when they're fit. Um, wrong one. Oh, alt, you fool, that's better. Hey, trouble when your mind goes. That's better, we've got everything back again. Well, except for the, the GPS lines, but I think we've we can do without those, they're low, ah, that's handy. Do that, so, yeah, he's got that bit there, so I'll just switch him off. And I'll finish that off, up off screen to do it properly. It's nothing to do with Chris, that's not his fault, he's missed that bit. It's a way that, uh, it's a way course play works in this one. Oh, interrupt the stop the driver, that's better. Right, let's see how... Oh, Tom's almost done. We're finishing him off, off screen and he can go and do whatever he wants to do. Uh, I think we're... Couldn't remember if I'd actually already done that. I haven't dropped that down, Drop that down, and away we go. But I think it is now time to seriously think about a third full-time working member of staff. So we've got Paul who can no longer do it. And those who have never caught up with that story, he uh, likes extreme sports. And he borrowed, I think it was a micro light. I was given a, allowed to have a go in a micro light and uh, the main spar on it broke. Well, it's yet quite high. Didn't do him a lot of good at all, shall we say. Well, he never walked again. He broke his back. 
and he will never walk again, lucky to be alive. So the uh, doctor said. I wonder if we can just get rid of any of this. Oh, no. No, we can't. It's got to be on there. I think it should disappear on the cord. Oh, I think we can do this one by hand without uh, GPS. Alright, so that's we're just at the end of this uh, field now. I'm gonna maybe another. I'll be doing a few short episodes at the moment. I will be making that when we get to harvest. I think we will try and do the potatoes in one hit, and maybe an hour, maybe three quarters. Not, I don't know. But we we might just try that. Just just to give a longer episode now and again. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. Remember, this is one of the few streams that still use FS15. So if you're someone like me who likes Soil Mod, this is probably the place for you. It's the one thing I miss on 17 that Soil Mod never came out to it, and I hope that the way Seasons is going, it's incorporating a few Two items of soil mod in, and oh, and by the way, they're working on compaction at the moment. They've got a working model, which seems to work quite well. I haven't tried it myself yet. And of course, they've also done the uh, grazing, which means that grass in the paddocks for cows and sheep and gets used. <laughs> Great idea. Seven of that I'm surprised hadn't been thought of before. I know several people have suggested it, but they're the first team to get it working, really. Was. They are the people behind Seasons Mod and several other things. And the way they're working on other things, I'm going to think that Seasons might well be incorporated in 19. I have no knowledge on that, but I'm just guessing. The fact that Realms are working on other realistic farming mods. It seems to, seems to point that way. Anyway, yeah. right, let's see where we get to. Where. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. If you're not a subscriber and wish to see more of this and 17 and on a Saturday, anything that takes me fancy, really. I think I've just done, by the time says I will have just finished. And you look through Cavalier's Roy, Cavalier Roy's excellent um, newbie farm mod through the ages. And his one he's building, or oh, he's got built for 19. I think this time it should be a motorsport manager, I think you might have just seen. Another game I enjoy playing immensely. <clears throat> Alright, yes. So subscribe if you want to see more. <laughs> Any comments, questions, queries or anything else, feel free to post them. I read every one. I try and reply to everyone and I think we're done. Now we better go and find ourselves Enfield uh, 4, I think it is. And the reason this thing isn't going very fast now is because that flow is not the best flow in the world, but it works. On a field, with, especially with the, the ground terrain mod, OEB's excellent ground terrain mod, it keeps showing it's touching the soil so it keeps slowing down. But as I say it works and for the little bit where that's annoyance I can put up with that. Right, so next time we will be doing I may well try and do some of this off screen. 
bung it onto the course plane that they get on with it. <coughs> you didn't hear me say that. Let's have a quick look around, see what else we've got. Close that all. He's done. And Tom is just about finished. Once he's finished this, we won't see more Tom for a few weeks. Please, if you have to put up with me, I'll meet Todd. I do miss the dirty tractor mod, which I've got on 17. I don't like seeing once it rain that the tractors get clean. Right, yeah, he's got the headlands to do and about 10 or a dozen more passes. Right, anyway, with that, it's Mammon saying that. Cheerio for now. Cheerio.